Hey, it's a Catawolf, and in this video, we are going to be covering the hostile mob spawn radius. So you're going to need to know how chunks work. If you don't know that, go and watch the video that I've done on that recently. And if you've seen my video on update radius, you may be familiar with the purple one. So today we're going to talk specifically about mob spawning and how it works. Um, specifically the hostile mob spawning. So there's two types of mobs. There's the passive mobs, which is things like cows and sheep and goats and chickens. And then there's the hostile mobs, which is creepers and skeletons and witches and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll, we're leaving aside how structured mob spawning works. Structured mobs is things like uh, the witch hut, the guardian farm and the outpost, pillager outpost, things like that. So this is just how it works in the regular world. Um, also not including like the um, spawning uh, mob spawners, which you might find in some of the caves. So I'm assuming a default render distance, a simulation distance of four. If you want to check yours, under settings, game settings, simulation distance, four chunks. So if you're on a different simulation distance, the calculation is going to be different. But for, uh, for simulation distance four, imagine that orange block there is where we are standing. Uh, and this is height dependent. I'll show you a demonstration later that will make it clear. But uh, on the same plane, at the same flat surface it's going to be 24 blocks away from you as the player that's going to be the safe zone i guess and then uh, around 44 blocks away so between 24 and 44 blocks that's going to be the danger zone so between the gray wool and the sorry that's light gray wool between the light gray wool and the gray wool that is going to be the area that mobs spawn anywhere in there. So let's go down here. Now I'm using I'm using a pack from a resource pack from Foxy No Tail that I Foxy No Tail that I have demonstrated before. You put your armor stand in, give it a banner, and you right click it once. So it will show you the hostile mob spawning radius. So all I've done is literally just put down a block of gray wool along this, uh, along the green, and then a block of gray wool along the red. So anywhere in this area here is where the hostile mobs can spawn, assuming that your AFK spot, for example, or wherever you're standing, assuming it is on here. So let's demonstrate that really quickly. Let's change it to night. And then we should start seeing hostile mobs spawning presently. Now I have noticed occasionally, there we go, occasionally they will spawn on the gray wall on the outside because I didn't quite do it on the far outside some of those some of those gray wool blocks uh, are spawnable i guess they can move so the hostile mobs can move closer towards you and that will be fine if they move past this boundary the the gray wool the outside wall uh, boundary if they move past there they they are going to despawn if they are more than 32 blocks away from you after 30 seconds, they will start to despawn. They can move closer, but if they move further away or if they stay between 30 and 44, 32 and 44 blocks away from you, then and they don't take any damage, then after 30 seconds, they will despawn. One way that we can use this for our mob farms is to make sure that we are pushing them into, say, a trident killer or a lava pit, campfires, that sort of thing, pushing them into that within 30 seconds of them spawning, and then we're all good. 
We also don't want to be pushing them more than 44 blocks away from us. So as you can see, they'll spawn all the way around. I guess these ones have... Uh, <laughs> there's mob caps and everything, which is a topic for another video. Uh, so once we have these, once we have a certain number of mobs here, then no more are going to spawn until the current ones have despawned. All right, so let me show you this in a sphere setting. So if we give that, so this green, you notice that it curves over because it is 24 blocks in every direction, including vertical, and then it's 44 blocks in every direction. So we have all this space up here. So if you were to make, say, a mob farm, you could go, you could do, I guess, a, a ring around you and then have the have them brought closer for killing chambers or whatever. Or you can maybe do a solid platform right the way here, 25 blocks away from you, from your AFK position. Another way that this matters, so we want to be, so this is, this is useful for when you're building your AFK platform. So we're at negative 60. We need to go to negative 15. One more. There we go. And I'll build a couple out so that I can get this armor stand operating. So imagine this is our AFK position. So nothing's going to spawn inside this green ball around us, but it's going to spawn on inside the red ball, but it's not going to spawn outside the red ball. So, the, so why this is useful is uh, if you are 45 blocks above the ground or any spawnable block, then you don't need to mob spawn proof this area here. So super useful for uh, ones in the nether, but also just for your general mob farm. So you don't need to build like, you know, 200 blocks into the sky unless you are on a very high simulation distance. But for the default four chunk simulation distance, that's as far as you need to go. 45 blocks from any spawnable blocks. So if you want to get this pack and use it, uh, it's a free one provided by Foxy Notal. I'll provide a link in the description. Really useful for figuring out positions and everything for your own mob farms and all that. I hope you found this one useful and I will see you in the next one.